Second to the Right, The Neverland Chronicles, Book One, by T.S. Kinley, is a fresh and enchanting retelling of the classic Peter Pan narrative, delving deeper into the magical world of Neverland with new twists and characters that bring depth and complexity to a familiar tale. The story begins from a slightly different angle than J.M. Barrie's original. We meet a savvy and independent Eloise Ellie Hartley, an orphan who has always felt an inexplicable connection to the story of Peter Pan and the mystical island of Neverland. Her life changes dramatically and somewhat tragically when her older brother, Thomas, and his fiancée, Madeline, whom Ellie is very close to, die in a car accident. This somber event pushes Ellie deeper into her obsession with Peter Pan as she seeks solace in the story that has always brought her comfort. Ellie's life takes a turn for the extraordinary when she discovers a hidden mark on her body resembling the outline of the Neverland Island, sparking the realization that her connection to Neverland may be more than just fantasy. This revelation is swiftly followed by the appearance of Peter Pan himself, much more mature and complicated than the boy who never grew up as depicted in children's books. Peter brings forth a revelation that changes everything Ellie thought she knew. She is a descendant of a powerful line of protectors, destined to safeguard the magic of Neverland from those who would abuse it. This heritage explains her strong affinity for the story and her deep sense of belonging to the mythical island. Peter convinces Ellie to travel with him to Neverland, where she begins to unlock the secrets of her past and her role in the grand scheme of the Isle's fate. As Ellie explores the vibrant and treacherous land of fairies, pirates, mermaids, and lost boys, she learns that Neverland is on the brink of disaster. The villainous Captain James Hook, a fiercer and more formidable adversary than ever, has uncovered a way to exploit Neverland's magic for his gain, threatening to destroy the very fabric of its existence. Eager to prevent such a catastrophe, Ellie joins forces with Peter and his band of lost boys, among them is an enigmatic and brooding young man named James, who is revealed to be Hook's estranged son. James forges a tenuous alliance with Ellie, despite his complicated feelings about his father and his interactions with Ellie, which are fraught with suspicion and a budding attraction that neither of them fully understands. As the story progresses, Ellie discovers that Neverland is not merely an escape from reality, but rather a place shaped by the collective beliefs and imaginations of children across generations. She learns that her purpose as a protector goes beyond fighting pirates. It is to keep the essence of childhood innocence and wonder alive. Ellie's journey is punctuated by internal conflicts as she wrestles with the responsibilities of her newfound role and the loss of her brother. The other lost boys, who have lived for countless years in Neverland's timeless bubble, provide Ellie with insight into the price of immortality and the importance of growing up, even in a world where such a concept seems foreign. The narrative intensifies as Hook's nefarious plans come to a head, leading to pulse-pounding battles where Ellie and her allies must use all their wits, courage, and newfound magical abilities to counteract the devious pirate schemes. Ellie's bond with Peter strengthens, and they navigate their way through ship skirmishes, encounters with mystical creatures, and tests of loyalty that forge their characters in the crucible of conflict. The climax arrives in an epic showdown, with the fate of Neverland and the real world hanging in the balance. Ellie, now a confident protector wielding her unique magic, orchestrates a daring plan to thwart Hook and restore harmony to Neverland. The fight is not without loss and heartbreak, yet Ellie demonstrates profound bravery and sacrifice, embodying the true spirit of a hero. Amidst the chaos, the complicated dynamic between Ellie and James reaches a critical point. They confront their familial ties, misunderstandings, and the challenging emotions that accompany their evolving relationship. Ellie realizes that James's ties to Hook are a source of deep pain, and that part of her mission is to help him find redemption in his path. In the aftermath of their victory over Hook, Ellie and the inhabitants of Never make their peace with the losses they have endured and celebrate the new sense of hope that has been ignited. Ellie has irrevocably changed both the destiny of Neverland and her destiny, stepping fully into her role as a guardian with a profound understanding of the island's significance. Second to the right, The Neverland Chronicles, Book One, 
concludes with Ellie and Peter reflecting on their adventures and the lessons learned. There is a sense of resolution, yet an undercurrent of anticipation as the reader is left to imagine the future adventures that await Ellie and her newfound family in Neverland. T.S. Kinley has crafted a novel that not only pays homage to the enchanting world created by J.M. Barry, but also expands it in beautiful and unexpected ways. Through Ellie's eyes, readers experience the wonder and danger of Neverland while exploring deep themes such as loss, identity, and the delicate balance between holding on to youth and embracing the inevitability of growth and change. The book ends with a promise of more to come, leaving readers yearning for the next chapter in the Neverland Chronicles and the continued evolution of Ellie's extraordinary life. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.